Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about CK Productions. Now, if you don't know what CK Productions is, CK Productions is the main channel that I've worked on for the past, I know, 10 years now, uh, co-founded with my friend Joe, and also included now our, our best friend Brandon too. And this channel actually uh, used to be a side channel for CK Productions. Um, it's gone, gone through a couple iterations, but now it's turned into kind of a personal channel for me where I, I do talk about a lot of the stuff that we do on CK Productions and go behind the scenes. But CK Productions has been the main stage channel that I've worked on, like I said, for the past, you know, 10 years or so. It's where all the main content I've created on YouTube and all, honestly, all of the main short films that I've originally created have, um, and Joe and Brandon have originally created, are, exist on YouTube as well. If you're not familiar with it, it's a comedy and gaming themed channel. We do a lot of short films and skits related to video game logic. Some of our mainstays are Mario logic in real life, Zelda logic real life, Pokemon. At least a lot of the major Nintendo ones or some of the major non-Nintendo ones. There's been different variations of all of that and different side projects and different side series and stuff all kind of relating in this sort of CK cinematic universe. It's been super cool to work on and really super cool to grow to over 100,000 subscribers, have our YouTube play button, and has been one of the most proud and one of my most uh, enjoyable projects that I've worked on through my filmmaking career. So if you are watching CK Productions, you've noticed there's been a long hiatus between the content we've been making. You've seen a couple of um, short animated films that I put on there. Besides that, there's been kind of a large gap between our main content and now i know we haven't really communicated any type of schedule or any type of information about it so i wanted to make this video to kind of catch everyone up who's interested in learning about what's going on so to start off the bat there's no earth shattering news there's no drama behind anything we didn't quit ck productions you know joe brandon and i are best of friends we see each other all the time we just haven't been making video content lately there's a myriad of reasons why it's nothing crazy and nothing earth shattering anything it's just you know it's been a busy time in our lives. There's been a lot of changes going on in our lives. There's been a lot of stuff going on that's kind of required a lot of our attention that's brought us away from being able to make videos together and stuff like that. A lot has changed since we started um, working on CK Productions. When we started working on CK Productions, you know, we were kids just out of high school in college. Um, and then just out of college, had a lot of time on our hands to be able to put this stuff together, you know. But unfortunately, you know, when you grow up, sometimes life changes and things change and you just, you have responsibilities and you don't always have the time like you used to and sometimes even the energy like you used to. And uh, some other things have changed too. Like Joe and I live kind of far apart now. We, did, we used to live a lot closer, so it's a little bit more difficult to get together and film these shoots. So we've had a couple actors and stuff move away. Um, so some of our other series that we've been able to do in the past we're not able to really do anymore um, because of those actors moving away. So the main thing I'm kind of getting at is we've been busy before in the past. We've always kind of lived busy lives, all the three of us, uh, Brennan, Joe, and I. We've always wanted to maintain CK Productions. I love CK Productions and I always want to, you know, I never want to stop doing CK Productions. There's been times in the past where we have lived busy lives. We've had a lot going on and we've still pushed forward with CK Productions and on top of everything going on. And what's happened in the past when we try to do that, you know, a number of things come out of that. One, oftentimes there's delays in the shooting schedule. There ends up being delays in the post-production schedule and videos don't come out, you know, as often or as, honestly as high quality as we want them to. Kind of pushing and persevering throughout a lot often can lead to burnout. And that's what I personally experienced a few times over the last couple of years. One of the biggest problems, and it's it's not really a problem because I love the content that we've created over the years. Um, it's just one of the biggest problems with our type of content is because we make things in a short film format. A lot of our content is between, you know, five to 10 minutes long, some if not sometimes even slightly longer and, and stuff like that. And it has a lot of visual effects to it. It has a lot of complex editing, has a lot of complex cinematography and stuff. We try to deliver, you know, high production value products, you know, with the time and the equipment that we have available. You know, even though we ha sometimes have like goofy, cheap looking costumes and stuff, but that's kind of the fun of it. But yeah, it, it, you know, it requires a lot of, um, especially on the editing side, a lot of hours to be put into it. And it's not always the number of hours that personally I have available. Put it in perspective for a typical Infinity Wall Endgame episode, um, which is the most recent series that we've been doing, we might have two or three different shoots per episode, with those shoots being four, five, six hours each. And on top of that, it's maybe about like a two week process at minimum to edit those together because of all the visual effects, all the sound effects, all of the complex editing, you know, fight scene editing to put together like that. And I'm not saying these are like full eight hour days of working on it. You know, I don't have eight hours a day to work on these types of things. You know, I maybe have 
two to four at most on a typical day. And the other thing is a lot of our shoots require a good amount of people sometimes, especially stuff like the Infinity Watt in game. So coordinating everyone's schedules and getting together all in one day and multiple days that we need to shoot can be, you know, a, a long process and take a lot of time. It's not just shooting a video. It's not just editing a video. A lot that has to do with it is the pre-production and the planning and finding locations, you know, gathering props, all that kind of stuff. And all of that just takes time and it takes mental energy. And it takes a lot of mental energy, honestly. And that's honestly, I think, what leads to more of the burnout rather than the filming and the editing of it. Comparing it to the past, you know, when we were just out of high school and college, just out of college, we had a lot more time on our hands. We didn't have as many responsibilities. We could spend whole weekends shooting. I could spend, you know, eight hours a day on top of my regular job editing per day, you know, staying up super late. I, I just, I can't stay up super late. My body just can't take it anymore. That's what happens when you get older. CK Productions isn't my full-time job. It's never really been my full-time job. It doesn't pay a full-time salary. The reality is, as much as I'd love to be shooting my own short films and shooting my own work all the time, it just doesn't pay the bills, unfortunately. Um, and CK Productions isn't at a point where it can pay the bills. There are YouTube channels that people have been very fortunate to be able to have that kind of success, and we've had success with CK Productions, but it hasn't been to that level. And I've accepted that. I've always accepted that. You know, I never came in thinking that CK Productions was going to be my full-time job or going to make me a ton of money. It's just something that I've really enjoyed doing and it's an activity that I've really liked doing with my friends. Now, the easiest thing to say with all this is just, oh, why don't you make a release schedule that's a little bit more easier with your schedule. Maybe release stuff once a month. Maybe you've released, you know, a good quality short film every month or every couple months or so. And that's easy to say that. And ideally, in a perfect world, I would love to do that. I think that would work perfectly for what we're doing. Um, however, the other problem that we're facing um, with this is YouTube itself. YouTube has changed a lot since we first started this channel. And that method, that type of schedule might have worked, let's say, you know, seven or eight years ago, maybe even five years ago. But it's not really how YouTube works or functions now. If you've been watching the channel lately, we really don't get the views. Um, like we used to before and that's you know a number of reasons one because of you know inconsistencies that we had with our schedule and two you know it's been with changes on youtube's algorithm and stuff where our videos aren't being promoted as much as we used to and the reality is we've been doing the same thing basically for the past 10 years and that is not really typical of a youtube channel that exists for that long to do you know we've never really sat down we've never really changed the formula or anything which i'm not i don't regret or anything. I really like the content that we make with it. I've, I've never really wanted to change the content. I enjoy making short films and adding high production value. With the reality is, you know, to have been maybe more successful, we should have adapted a little bit more to the changing landscape of YouTube over the years. So what I'm kind of trying to say here is if we are to get back into doing CK Productions on a consistent schedule, that is something that we're gonna have to consider when making content going forward. It's a discussion to be had. It's something that I'm thinking about like almost every day, you know, what's the right decision of where we're going to go with this. So when is CK Productions returning? You know, I'd love to give you a concrete answer, but unfortunately I don't have a concrete answer right now. For the time being, I'm using CK Productions as a platform to you know, show off some of the short films, to show some of the animation work I've been working on on the side. I, um, I might bring up some, some old projects that were yet to be finished and put those up on there. And thank you for your patience with us while we kind of figure this out. And we just, you know, just while I figure this out too, you know, it's, it, CK Productions is something that's meant a lot to me. It's a big part of me. It's always been a big part of me. I know that, you know, maybe there's only even five or 10 or five people that are watching this video or even getting this far, um, but, I want you to know that you mean a lot to me and it means a lot that you've supported the channel um, for this long. So yeah, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, go ahead and get yourself caught up with any videos that you haven't seen so far. If you haven't watched the channel, I don't know why you're still watching this video at this point, um, but go ahead and check it out. Um, we're putting some content on TikTok, some of our best clips um, and stuff like that. And since I've had a little bit more time, you know, I'll get back into doing some more camera views, more tutorials, and some more behind the scenes stuff on this channel as well. So yeah, thank you guys for all your support. No matter what it is, I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.